sliding window protocol. Uh, this is very interesting chap uh, chapter where we will see actually how data is moving from one system to another system. Uh, this is one of the uh, solution technique. This is one of the, for one problem, it is the solution we already mentioned while discussing in one of the layer in the OSI reference model. So that is in the network, in the data link layer and in the transport layer, we discuss one problem that is flow, flow problem. So for that flow problem, we are using this sliding window protocol. So as the name implies, in the name itself, you have the one word window. So here in the sliding window protocol, we are using the window concept. So by using that window concept, you are able to control the flow. Means you have the main problem is fast sender and the slow receiver. Whenever sender is sending the data very fastly and means uh, sender's capacity of processing the data is very fast so that he is able to send the data very fastly. But uh, receiver is not able to process that data accordingly. So that ultimately at the certain amount of time, you are discarding that data. So discarding is highly not recommended in computer network. So that to control this one, this flow, you need a main technique that we are using as a sliding window protocol. So window concept we are using in this uh, sliding window protocol.